Hi there, grade 5 and 6 boys and girls. It's great to be with you once again. As always, I am Misham Shadeen, and it's time for us to explore a little more and learn a little more. In our lesson today, we would be discussing and looking at a few examples of skimming and scanning in comprehension. Now, what is skimming? Skimming is a reading technique that can help you to read more quickly, decide if the text is interesting, and whether you should read it into more details. Skimming is a fast reading technique and it is used to just obtain the gist of the text that you are looking at. That means that you could quickly look at it and say what the text is about. Now, how do we know skimming from scanning? Skimming is often confused with scanning, but you must remember that skimming is used to get the gist on a page or the text that you are looking at. It is very useful and therefore you should use it to find the details about what you're reading. Scanning on the other hand is used to obtain specific information from a piece of text and it can be used for example to find a particular number or a particular name of someone that is in that text. So, unlike skimming, where you will quickly glance over, probably read the first sentence or the, and the last sentence to see what the text is about. Scanning, you are looking in the text to get a particular piece of information. Now, sometimes you can use both reading methods. After skimming a piece of text, you decide whether the text is interesting. You may wish to scan or use the scanning technique to locate more specific information. Now let's look at how we can skim. Read the title, the subtitle, or the subheadings to find out what the text is about. If there are pictures or illustrations, you can also use those to give you an idea or information about the topic. You can also read the first and the last sentence of each paragraph. In skimming, you do not need to read every word or every sentence. Now let's look at what is scanning in a little more detail. Scanning is also a fast reading technique. It's a way of reading to look for specific information in a text. Scanning can be used to read through ads in newspapers or browsing television schedules, timetables, lists, catalogs, or web pages for information. For these tasks, you don't need to read or understand every word. Scanning is also useful when you are studying or looking to find specific information, as I said before, from a book or article quickly as there is not always time to read every word. So there you could see that skimming and scanning is a very important skill you would need, especially how we're preparing for our upcoming exam. Now, how do we go about scanning? Always remember, do not try to read every word. Instead, let your eyes move quickly across the page until you find what you are looking for. Use clues on the page, such as the headings and titles to help you. So for instance, let's say you're looking for a telephone number in a directory. You would want to look on the page for where the letters would run, the letters for the name of the person you are looking for. If you are reading for a studying purpose, start by thinking up or writing down some questions that you want to answer. Doing this helps you to focus your mind and help you to find the facts or information that you need more easily. So, if you are looking or you are studying particularly about animals, in your text, you would go directly to the section about animals. You may further want to find out about the particular feature of an animal, so scanning will help you to go directly to that section where you find a feature for the animal that you are looking for. So 
let's get on with our skimming exercise. Here I have a passage. I'm going to give you 60 seconds to skim through this paragraph below. I hope you had enough time. Now I have a few questions. Let's see if you were able to use the skimming technique effectively. Now, what can you find in large numbers at the supermarket? If you did skim, you would have seen that the passage is about trolleys at the supermarket. So you could find trolleys in large numbers at the supermarket. Were you able to find that? The next question, how can you avoid spending more than you plan? Did you come across any information in the passage in your skimming exercise to say how you can avoid spending more than you plan? Again, if you skimmed effectively, you would have found that using a shopping basket would help you to avoid spending more than you plan. Now, last question. Why is it a good idea to use a basket instead of a trolley? The last part of the passage, and remember in skimming, it says, go through the first and the last part. You don't need to go inside for all of the details. So, why is it a good idea to use a basket instead of a trolley? It's a good idea because a basket is lighter, easier to use, and may even save you money. So there you had it with our skimming exercise. Now I have for you a flyer that we are going to do some scanning. Again, take 60 seconds and go through this flyer. Now think about it. If you needed information about this flyer, would you be able to find those information by skimming or scanning? Remember, skimming, you are looking for just the gist about what it is about. If you skim, can you tell me what this is about? I don't think so. At the first look, there is no heading. I just see maps and pictures. And so I can't say directly what it is about. So it means that I would need to scan through some of the information on this flyer to say what it may be about. Once we scan through this flyer, we would see that this flyer is about a holiday in the grand city of Rome. What about the details about the tour, such as the time and the location? 
and the activities? Would you need to skim or scan to find that? If you skim, you might only see that time is given. But if you want to know the direct time of the events or activities, you would definitely need to scan. Remember, if you skim, you would just get a general idea of what it's about. But for the specific information, like the time phrase of the tour, the places the tour will take you, you need to scan. Here we can see on the flyer that the time is from 7 a.m. to 9 p.m. If we need to find out what are some of the highlights of the tour or what to expect, because you just don't want to go on the tour because it's a tour, you want to know what kind of fun there is for you. You will need to scan or read a little more inside of the flyer between the lines so that you could see what it provides in terms of highlights and fun. So the part there where you see highlights, you have best English speaking Italian guide. You have gondola ride in Venus and wine tasting and pizza eating. Also free scooter for use. So there you see those are the highlights. So you needed to scan the flyer in order to get that information. Well, that's all for our session on skimming and scanning. In answering questions for any comprehension activity, you need to remember that you will need to skim or scan at some time. Now it's time for you to practice answering questions on reading passages you would have done and see whether you would need or whether you needed to skim or scan the passages to find those answers. Do remember to take care and tune in for more learning sessions right here on the Guyana Learning Channel. This is all for now. Goodbye.